Good evening everybody and welcome to Clawson World. In today's episode, I'm going to be checking all of the emitters on my drip irrigation. I'm going to be spreading some seed from some surprise item in the kitchen that I made dinner from. And I do believe I'm going to spray around the house with some bug spray because it's that time of the year where all the spiders and bugs start to come out that could possibly get into your home. So I'm gonna be doing that. It is very windy today. You can probably see I'm kind of squinting because the wind is blowing in my face. But uh, we're gonna get this done and I hope you can hear me in this episode. So join me in the garden. of my irrigation system. This is the timer I was telling you about in my very first video. I'm going to manually turn this on to give me an opportunity to look at all the emitters to make sure they're all pumping out water the way they're supposed to. I can tell you what one of the problems is. <laughs> yes, it needs a battery. Now if I can just remember how to open it, since I haven't been in it in a year. I might have to take it off because it is not coming out. So let me try that. I had to get a teeny tiny screwdriver to pry it out because it locks into place and it was not trying to come out. So I am now just trying to replace I guess I should have looked at the uh, the old battery. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is an ordeal. As you can tell, I don't replace batteries very often, apparently. Okay. So, new battery is in. Replacing it in the slot and now I've got to figure out how to put this back on. I think it's supposed to click. It's not, there we go. It's not supposed to get any water in it. I want to make sure it's secure. Oh my good, that has been changed. And it's telling me that it's not a full battery. <laughs> so those batteries weren't very good, but it's good for what I did it for. So I'm just going to turn it on, and now I'm going to check the system. And you can hear it. You hear it kicking on? Okay. Let me check these. The emitter thing is dripping. I found one that doesn't seem to be dripping as quickly as it should. So let's put this, this one right here really isn't putting out as much water pressure as it should. And I may have to I may have to change the head on it because everything else is flowing. But this one is not. And that potato is suffering because of it. And if I take the top off, you can see that water is flowing, but it is not coming out the way it's supposed to. So I have two, actually not one, I have two that are dribbling out. It's supposed to be flowing out like that. And can you see that one in there? Flowing out like that. Those 360s should be flowing. And I have a few that are not flowing the way they should. So 
got some more research to do. remember if this was something that I dropped from out of the kitchen but I made some northern beans for dinner today and so since I made northern beans I said let me see if I can grow a few of these beans from out of the kitchen so I'm just placing a few of these beans around this cane and see if they'll come up because why not I have a ton of other things in this bed but this bed can take it squash is coming up I'm not sure if these are weeds or something else um, we shall see I, I put some red curry squash right here a couple of days ago so I, I don't want to mess around with this area too much and I have squash coming up back there as well. It's already established, so I can probably squeeze in two more beans back by those, that cane back there. And then that's about it. I am losing light. And I don't want to be out here. Let's see if I can show you guys. That squash looks really good. Can you guys see that? Nice and healthy. See if I can do it like this without making too much of a mess back here. There we go. Uh, kind of squish it in the soil. I'm not doing a very good job with this camera with one hand. I'm trying not to destroy squash with the other one. But those squash look really good. They're coming up real nice. Hope you guys can see that. They're coming up really nicely. I, um, of course, don't remember which ones these are. But I do know I did drop butternut and spaghetti squash. So it's either one of those. And this is a different variety, too. You can tell by how deep green these are compared to these over here. But that's it for me tonight. It is getting dark. I'm losing light. It may not look like it, but it is. So I'm going to water this in, and then I'm going to call it a night. So from my garden to yours, happy gardening.